When I first got into reading books as a way to actually improve my life, I found myself in the exact same position as I see so many of you, which is that your head is swimming because you have 500 things you want to improve about your life, there's limited time, you don't know where to begin, and you're like, okay, well, if I need to lose weight, earn more money, get into a relationship, get into college, get good grades, become a better friend, parent, child, like where do I even start? Well, in this video, I want to introduce you to the huge realization that I had and how it helped me dramatically improve my life the very first year that I started implementing it. Hey, what's up, guys? Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now, I'm releasing a really, really cool program in the next two weeks. And the next program is this one year kind of success plan. So this video is kind of a little bit of a teaser of the content that's in it. Now inside the program, which is gonna be a very cheap monthly program, it's gonna be like nine or 10 bucks a month. Not only is there a brand new 30 day challenge per month, a brand new 30 day personal development challenge. So over the course of 12 months or a year, we're gonna focus on one piece of your life to improve for one month. And then each week, we're gonna do one new habit video with one new affirmation and a a very brief little workbook to go through. And then the next month we'll move on to the next challenge, the next habit, the next part of your life, et cetera, including a live stream each month. So if you wanna be notified, I'm only notifying the people on that link in the description. The first link is that goal setting link I've mentioned here before. So you'll also get the free one page worksheet, but that is the link you need to be on that list if you wanna be notified. So let's jump into what I think that I used in my own life and was a complete game changer, this could be a great starting point for anyone getting into improving their life that want to improve everything about their life. So let's quickly do an overview of the 12 months, the core domain of life that I would focus on improving. And then after that, I'll give you some questions that can serve as prompts that you can work on. So for me, the 12 domains of life I focused on for the one year where I got started was first personal development, Productivity, finances, mindset, enjoyment or free time and leisure, goal setting, relationships and love, contribution, spirituality and greater purpose, health, purpose and meaning, and then self-actualization or legacy. So when it comes to the first month of the year, let's say you're using January as the example, you want to work on personal development. Here are some questions that can help you. In terms of my overall personal development, do I have a regular system or series of rituals that I use to improve my life, reflect on what's working and not working, and then work on those things? In terms of productivity, and let's say you're doing this in February. Number one, how do you assess how productive you really are? Do you have a current productivity ritual? Have you done objective tests to see your productivity? Like, have you asked other people? Have you actually tracked your time for a week or for a month? Have you actually seen how much you're getting done per hour you work? What are the core resources you are using to improve your productivity? Month three, your finances. Well, number one, how are you saving money? Are you investing money into your own personal development? And if so, what's your ritual for doing that every single month? Have you automated your finances? Do you save money? Are you planning for your long-term goals? What is your financial series of rituals look like? The fourth month is mindset. This could be April in this case. So in terms of your mindset, what are the systems, the habits, the books, the resources you use to have the mindset that is positive, that is inspired, that is excited about improving your life? And what are the core rituals you implement on a daily basis in order to be in a good mood almost irregardless of what's happening to you in your life. The fifth month is what I call enjoyment, highest excitement, free time, or leisure. Some of us, like me, are very prone to being overly serious, overworking, and really devoting most of their life to work. People like me especially, but I think all people, need to spend more time figuring out what are they doing in their free time for fun. Especially me. Now, The questions that can help prompt this are, are you taking clear times to work and clear times to not work? And are you enforcing those laws in your own life? 
What do you like to do for your free time? And do you have a system for making sure that when it is the hours of the day where it is free time, you are only doing the free time? If you don't even know what you enjoy doing for fun, what are some of the things that you need to research and put on your calendar if need be, or write down on a piece of paper to put on your desk to spend more time doing those things? And if you're in a job, are you actually taking the time for a vacation and then going to do something fun? The fifth month, May, would be all about goal setting. Do you know how to actually set goals in a way that is both enjoyable, sustainable, motivation, motivating, and works? What are the resources and books and people you're emulating that actually know how to set and achieve goals? What's the process you use to set goals? Is it just setting SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T? Or is there another process you observed works much, much better? June, the sixth month, is going to be all about relationships and love. Number one, if you don't have the kind of romantic relationships you want, what are the things about you that you need to improve in your own life to attract the kind of person and attract the kind of love that you want? If you don't have deep and fulfilling friendships, or maybe you just moved and you need to develop new friendships, what are the series of rituals and habits you need to implement in order to attract those kind of friends or find them? For example, I once dared myself to go out to an event five times a week, and each time I had to invite out one person I thought was cool for dinner or for drinks. That's it. And that's how I got a ton of friends within three months. July is all about contribution. It's easy for us to get caught up in our lives where we're super busy and we're focused on our own goals, but at the end of the day, we become successful, but not that fulfilled. And a lot of that is because we're focusing too much on ourselves. So July's quest could be, for example, what are the dedicated times or the dedicated rituals or dedicated events you go to that don't benefit you at all, but they help other people? What's the system you have? And what are the things in your life that make it feel the most meaningful and the most fulfilling? August is about spirituality or God consciousness. In my life, I believe that we can do all these things that give us material and emotional success and fulfillment, but also Every level we go higher and are more successful, there's a deeper feeling of discontent and we want something that's more spiritual, you could say. So what is it about your spiritual life that you are cultivating to provide that kind of nourishment in your life? Is there a series of spiritual practices you need to do? If so, what do they look like? Is it meditation? Is it journaling? Is it a certain type of yoga? Is it reading a certain spiritual text every morning? What do those practices look like? October is all about health. Now, in terms of health, you could look at this through mental, emotional health. You could look at it through physical health. You could look at it through fitness. So what are the things you need to do to not only feel good on a daily basis in terms of inner practices or the way you live or your mindset, to what do you need to do to maybe lose 20 pounds and just actually like who you see in the mirror and think that this person looks damn sexy? What are those practices look like? What do the new habits look like? What are the people you need to emulate? November, the 11th month, could be purpose and meaning. So we talked about God consciousness and things that relate to contribution and spirituality, but if you're non-religious, what are the things that you do, even just with your own goals, that are the most fulfilling and the most meaningful? For example, you know, me being able to quit my job to do like this, be a YouTuber full-time, was the best thing I did for my work life, to be happy. But the most meaningful is when you watch one of my videos or read my book, tag me or email me and say, what you did changed my life. That gives my life meaning that I can't get anywhere else. That makes it feel like I could die fully fulfilled and that nothing else really matters because this is the, the true stuff of life. So what is it in your life that gives you that feeling? And finally, the 12th month, I put down as one prompt, could be self-actualization or your legacy. So beyond success and fulfillment and meaning, all these things, what is the thing you want to leave behind when you die that you know that if you did not do this in your life, no one on earth might have done it. And so you have been irreplaceable to humanity, to earth, to the people that come after you. So when you're long gone, what are the things you will have done and left behind that will have made the difference for the others that come after you? So this is just an overall way you could think about and structure 
12 months of the year that are just prompts that you focus on and reflect on for the month. And for me, again, I've mentioned I'm releasing this brand new one-year success plan type program where each month we have a 30-day challenge where we focus on one of these pillars. And each week you get a weekly habit challenge and a weekly inner habit, a weekly affirmation to build off of that habit. So you have the yin and the yang. You have the actual physical habit and you have the inner game to work on. And deeper than this, you'll have one weekly workbook page for the week to focus on. And then from there, we'll also do a live stream once a month to help me answer your questions live. So if that really resonates with you and you're really interested, you have to be on that email list. That's the first link in the description. It'll also send you the goal setting worksheet for free, but that is the only place I'm going to notify people when the course opens. All right, guys. So I hope those 12 prompts help you regardless of whether or not you decide to join me. And otherwise you can get my last videos right there and right there.